Imagine ordering a pizza and only receiving 5.6% of it? Unfortunately, 5.6 represents the abysmal percentage of black animated characters in the United States. 5.6% feels like searching on YouTube for 10 minutes and not finding any material that represents my family. Researchers state that underrepresentation is psychologically and emotionally damaging. Unfortunately, my daughter and I know this firsthand. My name is Kiana Saxon, an attorney, piano teacher, mom, and wife, and I founded Kodogo Productions because I believe that Black children should be able to see their reflection in children's content, and because children of African descent deserve a safe space to connect and learn with and from each other. We are a multimedia edutainment company for preschoolers that centers and the cultures, voices, talents, and faces of the vast and heterogeneous African diaspora. This is a timely movement to, to create wholesome and inclusive content and to build an engaging community of Kodogo kids from around the world. My concerned and caring team includes amazing animators, immensely talented illustrators, and an exceptional music educators. I also have a phenomenal board of advisors. Since winning third place at the pitch night in March, Kodogo has been on the go. Some of the earnings went to creating our first ever coloring book, which is now on sale. We're almost finished with Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and I have been accepted into Everall Summer Cohort. The competition for children's media is fierce, but Kodogo will be above the rest. We will be culturally competent, have no suggested videos or ads. We will have an authentic user to user engagement, engagement experience and an age appropriate OTT platform. Our customers from an initial market size of 1.7 million will mostly be black moms with children under the age of six. Take Melody. She's woke, worried, and willing to spend her discretionary income to fortify her children against racism. Melody sends her kids to daycares, social organizations, and churches. Take Rose's preschool, which is diverse and needs diverse content. We'll target businesses like this, this one with direct communication, and from there, Melody can have home access at a discount. Within the next three years, we aim to obtain 102 businesses and 680 households. We project revenue of over $300,000 in year three, which will coincide with expanded offerings to target children who are a little bit older, ages six through eight. With $2,500, Kadogo will produce its third song and launch an I Fund Women Camp crowdfunding campaign. You can find Kodogo across all social media platforms. And with that, I'd be happy to take any questions.